Hi guys and welcome to another FIFA 21 video and showdowns are back for the first time in uh, in quite a while since what, like the Champions League final? We're going to have one for the Euros, aren't we? And uh, I think that will come uh, available tomorrow. But uh, of course, the Copa America final is this Saturday, Argentina against Brazil. And we've been given a 94 career position change from a right-hand side of position uh, where he has a team of the season card and a 94 rated Thiago Silva with 90 pegs. I literally just seen that. That looks ridiculously insane. Uh, the next showdown is Brazil versus Argentina, which takes place on July the 10th. One player from each team has received a showdown boost uh, that is available in squad builder challenges for a limited time. If you want to, you can do both of them. Uh, the player uh, from the winning team will receive a plus two overall stats boost. So it seems to be uh, if it finishes, even if it goes to penalties, um, you know, let's say Argentina win on penalties, your career will still get upgraded. So it's not going to be based on 90 minutes by the looks of it. So there won't be for like a draw in 90 minutes and you've done both of them. Both of them wouldn't get a plus one. Someone's getting a plus two. Whoever just wins that, you know, the match over being in the 90 minutes, extra time, penalties, whatever. Uh, and I like that. I wish they would have brought back for this stage of the game, you know, the, the free overall plus boost that they had when they were doing this initially towards the end of last year or whatever. But uh, I suppose in that it's a, a, a two plus upgrade to these cards it is still insane, and the, and the cards already are already you know fantastic. Two segments to both of them. We'll have a look at Thiago Silva first, and basically we want to kind of see who's the better card to be able to go for. Who's gonna more likely kind of get the upgrade? Now Thiago Silva is an 83 rating, an 87. That's a massive rating that. But at the same time, you're literally getting one of the best centre backs in the game, and and if this card gets the upgrades, he will become just as good as that end of an era Ramos card, won't it? Let's be honest, or or certainly very very close to it. Uh, so so his pace is already you know superb. Uh, his passing's very, very nice. I mean, 96 there for sure. Passing a long passing, which is great. Dribbling, I mean, his reactions and composure are just where you want them. Um, not, not, you know, nice agility and balance. We have seen better on other centre-backs, you know, at this stage of the game, but still nice. Defending is classy. Maybe one is heading accuracy to be a bit higher than 89 for this stage of the game, maybe. Um, physicalities are great as well. Uh, nice, uh, nice player traits there for leadership and power header. It's a great card, isn't it? Is he worth doing? 100% yes. Now, is he going to be the better one to be able to do? Well, I'll let you guys know in a second. So his career with the exact same requirements. Slightly cheaper. And, and to be fair, Bra Brazil are favourites, aren't they? I mean, Argentina, we've got, obviously, you know, they've got Lionel Messi. They've got Laruto Martinez. They have got a very, very good squad. But Brazil, they've got Gabriel Jesus, Neymar Jr., um... I, 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 you know, Casemiro, Firmino, Allison, plenty more. They, they, they've got a fantastic team. And I haven't really been... I've followed the Copa America very, very slightly. I haven't sat down and watched, like, a whole game. Um, I, I find it difficult to watch any game now that's played fully behind closed doors, which the Copa America has been played behind closed doors. I just find it... I really struggle to kind of motivate myself to watch those types of games now. Um, but what does he have? Flair trait would have been nice to have seen outside foot shot or finesse shot as well, but still decent. His dribbling is just... I mean, composure at 86, though. Little disappointing. Physicality's nice. Passing's nice. Finishing stats all around are very good. Those 64 penalties is um, a little bit odd. And, and his pace is great. But that composure... Uh, and we have to look, you know, at this stage of the game, for, for the cards that you want in your team, they're going to have to be insane in every single aspect. And his cards in every other aspect is, is superb. But 86 composure, and, and and this is a stat. It's not like agility where you can increase it with a certain chem style. Composure cannot be increased with any chem style. Now, of course, if they get the upgrades uh, and he goes to a 96 race, they'll probably take his composure up to like 80, 88 or 89. Which still wouldn't be insane, but it still wouldn't, you know, it, it would be obviously a little bit better. Uh, would it let the 86 composure put you off the cards? No, but it's something to just kind of keep you in mind of for this stage of the game because the chances are you're going to probably have a lot of people will have strikers at this stage of the game with cards that are just as good as Carrera. Obviously, if Carrera gets the upgrade, most people will not have a striker as good as him if he gets the upgrade. But a lot of people have a very uh, will have a card currently similar to him. I would have thought so anyway at this stage of the game, with uh, you know all the summer stars, paths to glories, team of the season cards, endless amounts of striker species that we've had over the past you know six to eight weeks and stuff. I personally, both of them, are, I think both of them are good. Uh, well, both of them are fantastic cards. Just slightly that composure on Carrera is just a little bit off-putting. But on the whole, it doesn't wreck the cards. Uh, you know, in, in in my opinion, he's still very very good. If I'm picking one card, to, obviously if you need a striker for your team, then go with Carrera, I suppose. But who do I think is the better one to go for on the whole? Thiago Silva. I think he just is. 
Uh, I think he's absolutely phenomenal, I think, in terms of his stats. And Carrera was still good, don't get me wrong, but if I'm picking one to do, um, I I'm doing Thiago Silva. And plus, I'm already happy. You know, my team's got Omri and Timo Werner in. I wouldn't need a Carrera. A Thiago Silva, I suppose, would be a good addition to my team because he would probably be an upgrade on a, on a moment's Carlos Puyol. But, uh, but yeah, two very, very good cards. But if I'm recommending one to do out of both of them, it's Thiago Silva. But I could understand uh, people still doing the Carrera SBC as well. But just be mindful about that 86 composure. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.